In this lesson, we'll be looking at how MATLAB truly is powerful for creating arrays really quickly and also manipulating the data in existing arrays. Multiple arrays can be combined into a single larger array using brackets. So in this example, we have x, which is a 1 by 4, and y, which is a 1 by 4. We can create a 1 by 8 array by putting x and y in brackets and separating them with a comma. In this example, the first four elements of array 1 will be the same array elements as in x. The last four array elements will be the same ones as in y. If we used a semicolon instead of a comma, we would create a 2 by 4 array where the first row has the values of x, the second row has the values of y. Character data can be manipulated in the same way. So in this example, we have animal, which is a 1 by 3. It has three characters in it. Sound, which is a 1 by 4 array. And we can make a much larger array called phrase, which the first three elements will be the same elements as an animal. Then we'll have some characters in says here within the single quotes. Lastly, we'll have the elements in, in sound, which is M-E-O-W. If we want to make a 2D character array, we can use the car function in the following manner. The transpose operator, which is a single quote, you can think of as flipping the rows in the col and columns in an array. So what it does is it takes the values in the ith row jth column of a particular array and it will put those values in the jth row ith column. So if we have a here as a 2 by 4, a prime or a transpose will be this 4 by 2 array here. The colon operator allows us to create and sort data very easily. The general form is a colon b colon c. And what this means is that we're going to go from the value of a to the value of c in step sizes of b. If the step size b is omitted, the default step size is 1. So here, we would go from a to c in step size of 1. If both a and c, in addition to b, are omitted, the lone colon operator means everything. So in this example here, we're going to create an array. The first row of this array is going to have the values 0 to 9 in step sizes of 3. So 0, 3, 6, 9. Semicolon means we go down to the next row. And in the next row, we're going to go from negative 1 to 2 in step size of 1. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2. The colon operator is a very powerful tool for manipulating data in arrays. So if we want, for example, the data in the first row and in columns 2 through 4, so that's 3, 6, and 9, we can say 1, 2, colon, 4. If we want everything in the third column, so 6 and 1, we can say colon, comma, 3. The end command indicates the last row or column in an array. So going back to the previous example, we have array 1 here. If we want all of the rows in the last column, that's 9 and 2, we can say colon, comma, end. If we want the last row, last column element, 2, we can say end, comma, end. The numL function returns the number of elements in an array. The size function will give us the dimensions of an array. So using array 1 here, the number of elements in A is 8, so if we say numL of array 1, we will get back the value 8, a single value. If we say size of array 1, we'll get back two values, a 1 by 2 array, with the values 2 for the number of rows and 4 
for the number of columns. So let's create a few arrays. We'll say time is equal to 0 uh, to 4, or excuse me, in step size of 1. So time has five values. So let's say the temperature was measured at each of these five times. So let's input some temperatures. And let's say that the pressure was also measured. Okay, so we have three 1 by 5 arrays, and I want to put this, these three separate arrays into one big array that I will call info. We can do that by saying time in the first row, then temp, then press. And we have now created a 3 by 5 array. Often we like to look at data like this uh, on a sort of horizontal, uh, vertical table. So we can say info is equal to info prime. What this will do is we'll calculate the transpose of the array info and then put it back in to info. So this is now the array info and these are all the elements in this array. If I want all the columns, the, uh, the elements from all the columns from the second row, I can say the following. Info, second row, all the columns. If I want all the columns from the last row, I can say end. The total number of elements in info should be 15, and indeed, and indeed it is. If I say size of info, I get back two values, five rows, three columns. 